Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY. But before we start with the content my friends, just a little reminder if you want to trade Bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage on Bybit and Femix, this is the place where you can do that. If you want to sign up to those exchanges just completely for free and also take some bonus with my referral links use them down below here because with those links you will get this bonus and also you will get this nice support from my channel because you are also supporting me if you're using my referral link so definitely go and sign up with my links down below here and currently on Femex we have now also Dogecoin so you can also trade Dogecoin over here you can go short you can go long with it and if you use my link and sign up to this uh, giveaway you can win up to 1 million in Dogecoin so definitely try it out register with my link down below here in the video description and then go here to this uh, special promotion for Dogecoin and now if you think that Dogecoin is gonna moon then you can go long here on Femex and if you think it's going down you can short of course like this you can also do huge profits so let me know in the comment section my friends what do you think about Dogecoin is it gonna moon should we go long here or should we go short I can also do some TA in the future about Dogecoin if you're interested of course it's a meme coin but since currently everyone is like uh, getting addicted to this uh, coin I can do also some TAs on that in the future if you want so so let me know in the comment section what do you think and now let's start with the content my friends we have here now the four hour time frame in the bitcoin price and after this breakout yesterday i told you that i closed my long position for now because here at least in the lower time frames it looks like that we could see a potential reversal that we could potentially come down here to retest these 46 potentially even down towards 44 thousand dollar area before then we definitely gear up for the next move towards 60k because here in the three hour time frame so this time frame that we are usually trading with my own indicator currently is giving a sell signal and uh, we are currently getting support by the nine moving average here in the four hour time frame so if we drop below then watch out here for the 20 moving average at $47,000 this might be already a good long opportunity or buy opportunity if we have seen already the bottom here of this correction and now we're gearing up towards 60k and higher levels because only the lower time frames currently suggests that we could see a final little leg down here before we continue to go higher also because currently we are trading above the EMA ribbons in the four hour time frame and the same thing goes here for the three hour. So I think we maybe come down here to retest the bottom of this EMA ribbon at around 47 to 48 thousand dollar before then we gear up again for another big move to the upside. So as soon as here we're getting a buy signal especially if you're trading with my indicator or here over on discord with my live stream indicator wait here for the next buy signal in the three hour time frame then I think we should be good to go long again again and um, now if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that yesterday we got exactly rejected here at the 20 daily moving average as expected and uh, currently we had now this uh, rejection and this drop now below the 20 daily moving average so as soon as we can close daily candles again above the 20 daily moving average then I think we have the last confirmation that we are back in an uptrend and the correction is over and we should be seeing the price go straight towards $58,000 potentially even way higher. You know my bullish targets of this next parabolic move that I'm expecting here those are between $75,000 to $99,000 and uh, if we now do a Fibonacci retracement based on the top that we had and also the bottom the possible bottom here at $43,000 if we do now this Fibonacci retracement you can see that the price came very close to the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement here at $50,800. But in order to be again in an uptrend, we have to break here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement right here at $52,600. So only if we are able to break this price level, this resistance that we could have here at $52,600 and start to consolidate above, 
this usually is then really the last confirmation that we are back in an uptrend. So even if we close a daily candle now above the 20 daily moving average, we are only 100% safe to be back in an uptrend if we also break here this 0.618 Fibonacci retracement here. So this is a very, very important key level in order to have the absolute confirmation that we are now back in an uptrend and you can go blindly long. And we also have currently this buy signal here, my own indicator. It's not a good one like we had over here because we are not yet completely oversold. But at least we already have a sign that we could get here this buy signal. And it will be only confirmed by tomorrow if we're going to maintain here this uh, green dot. So we have to wait until tomorrow to see if we have here a confirmed buy signal. This, of course, improves the chances that we are heading higher now. And we're most likely going to close here this daily candle above the 20 daily moving average pretty soon. And here you can also see in the last correction that we had, if we now do here a Fibonacci retracement, from the top that we had here at 42,000 down to the bottom here at $28,800. You can see that with the first attempt here to go higher, we came here very close to the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. We had a big wick here to the upside and straight back down. And you can see that only once we were starting again to close daily candles above this important resistance level here, we started then the parabolic move to the upside after closing a daily candle above and then of course also getting confirmation that the previous resistance is now new support. So this is also what we want to see right now in order to have the absolute confirmation that we are back in an uptrend and this was the bottom already. And even for the worst case scenario, in my opinion, if we would come back down here, I think that only here the 50 daily moving average right here at the bottom of the EMA ribbons at around $42,000 could be still tested. But latest then we should then see the big bounce to the upside, which will take us again towards 60K and way higher. So with every passing hour and day above here, the 50 daily moving average, in my opinion, everything is starting to look way more bullish than it was a couple of days ago. And that's why I'm planning again to open up some nice longs as soon as we're getting here in the lower time frames, a confirmed buy signal and confirm that this 46,000 to 47,000 dollar now is the new support. You can already go now with a long position into a trade if you want. So if you don't want to wait here for a possible retracement in my opinion i would wait but you can already start to long here if you don't want to miss out here for the next big move to the upside because of course on bybit and femex you can also open up longs here with the low leverage or completely no leverage so you don't have to worry to get liquidated or stopped out so if you don't want to wait for such a retracement that could happen here in the next coming hours then of course you can already start to long right now but in my opinion it is always better to wait for confirmations especially if we are still not closing candles here above the 20 daily moving average and if we go now over to ethereum you can see that we have a very similar situation here we're still fighting with the ema ribbons here in the daily time frame the top is currently here at 1600 dollar so we are still below this important resistance and i think also here very soon we could see an attempt here to test the 20 daily moving average right at $1,700 and then potentially also break it to the upside, especially if Bitcoin is also able to go higher. So in Ethereum, we are seeing currently a very similar situation like overall in Bitcoin, but here we are a bit lagging behind. So I think if Bitcoin is starting to pump like crazy and Ethereum is still lagging behind and you're too late to open a trade over on Bitcoin, then maybe think about to open a trade then here in Ethereum because usually Ethereum is always lagging behind, at least for now. And of course, over on Bybit and Femex, you can trade both Bitcoin and also Ethereum. So even though in Ethereum and also in Bitcoin, I'm expecting a possible drop here in the next coming hours. I'm still pretty bullish here for the next couple of days and weeks. And that's why we should take this long opportunity with this next buy signal that could come here in the next coming 
hours, both for Ethereum and also for Bitcoin. The only big problem that I still have is here in the DXY because the DXY is still pumping and you can see here in the daily time frame that we came very close to our resistance here at the 100 daily moving average. We even had a wick above but we immediately got rejected and if the DXY is able to pump here and close daily candles above this $91.30 price level then we could see a big move towards the 200 daily moving average here at 93 dollars and that of course could lead into a bigger correction in the bitcoin price overall in the crypto market and of course also in the stock market if the dxy here is able to push higher and you can see also in my own indicator that we had here a buy signal we had this pump and all the money flow currently is turning into positive so the dxy right now has the chance to have this massive pump here which of course is dangerous for the crypto market especially for Bitcoin it doesn't mean that Bitcoin has to crash because Bitcoin is not always inverse correlated to the DXY very often it is the case but not always and sometimes even though the DXY is pumping we are seeing the same thing also in Bitcoin that Bitcoin is also pumping and then sooner or later the DXY then is starting to plunge again because here we are still in a bear market we are still trading below the 200 daily moving average so even though we could have this dangerous pump here towards the 200 daily moving average I'm expecting here a big rejection and then of course continuation to the downside again towards $90 because $90 is a very strong support here for the DXY although if we go back into the past you can see that this level over here in the past acted always as a very strong resistance once broken then it acted as a new support like we had here in 2017 when Bitcoin reached $20,000 and right now we could also here see a possible bounce to the upside and if we would lose here this support then of course we could see a massive drop in the DXY potentially back again towards the 60 or 70 dollars level of course that would be catastrophe for the us dollar index but very very bullish for the stock market and also for the crypto market of course so even though bitcoin is not always inverse correlated to the dxy we should have a very close eye on here what is going to happen in the dxy in the next coming days and weeks because if here we're going to see a reversal to the upside potentially towards the 93 to 95 dollars then we could see a potential bigger correction overall the crypto market and of course also the stock market but so far we are still in a bear market we are still trading below the 200 daily moving average and as long as we're trading below this moving average in the DXY I'm still leaning more here into the bearish scenario for the DXY and that of course is in favor for the stock market and also for the crypto market. So the conclusion for this video my friends short term we could see here a possible pullback long term of course still very bullish we should expect the price going again towards 60k and way higher in the next coming days and if we're gonna see such a massive parabolic move to the upside towards 75 to 100k that could be a potential local top in my opinion so a good time maybe to take a little bit of profits out just in the case that the DXY is really able to push higher and that we're gonna see a massive correction over all the stock market and the crypto market so then you're able also to buy the dip if such a crash is happening so far the signs are still in favor to the crypto market and stock market that we're gonna see continuations here to the upside but be aware that the DXY why currently is in a very critical potential reversal point at least for the short to mid term overall we are still very bearish here for the long term for the DXY but every time we're seeing big pushes here in the DXY we have seen massive corrections overall all the markets and that's why we also have to keep a very close eye into the DXY and with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now another big shout out to our great crypto community over on discord if you want to join our great crypto trading chat make sure to use the official invitation link down below here in the video description once you have clicked it then you just have to go here to read first confirm that you are a human and not a bot by clicking here this thumbs up button and then you have free access to our great crypto trading chat and if you also want to get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin here in discord then you have to give a little donation to support the channel so if you're interested you just have to contact me here directly in discord to get access 
and also check out all the other links that you find here in the video description because with most of them you will get some extra money and extra rewards if you use my invitation link for example for Swissport you can get up to $100 or euro in bonus with your first purchase also on Binance and Coinbase you get some free coins if you use my referral link and next to that of course you have other useful links that I'm also using for example the miner that I'm using to mine some Ethereum and Bitcoin with my computers. Also, if you're in casino games, for example, poker or blackjack, you can check out this Bplay website because here you can play those games and connect your Binance account to these casino games. So if you're in poker or blackjack, then check out Bplay because they have a cooperation with Binance. And of course, if you still need a Ledger hardware wallet, then use my link down below here to support the channel because you always should keep your cryptos in hardware wallets offline and not in exchanges. Only put your cryptos in exchanges when you want to buy or sell. But otherwise, for the long term, always keep them safe offline in hardware wallets. And my recommendation is to use Ledger. Those are also the hardware wallets that I am using. So if you like the content, my friends, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.